The latest now on the trial of the man accused of murdering MP Sir David Amos. The jury at the Old Bailey were shown Ali Harby Ali's journey from North London to Sir David's constituency surgery in Essex. They were told he'd made the appointment by saying he was moving to the area and wanted to discuss local matters. Well, let's speak to Layla Hayes now, who's been in court. Layla, what more did the court hear today? Well, today the jury was taken through a timeline of events in the run-up to Sir David Amos's death. And the prosecution say these events show that Ali Harby Ali was planning his attack. On the 27th of September, he sent an email to Sir David's office, and in it he said, Hello, I hope all is well. I wanted to know if there were any appointments left on Friday for the surgery. I will be moving to the area from a Labour-held constituency and wanted to get to know my future MP. Looking forward to seeing you soon. If all appointments are taken, let me know if there's a cancellation. I'll be in the local area and will be able to drop by. He later rather chillingly said it wouldn't take long. Well, he was given an appointment for the 15th of October last year, and that was the day he attacked Sir David Amos. Now, in court, the jury was shown CCTV of the journey he took that day. Now, it showed him boarding a train from his home in North London and then heading to Barking. After that, he then went on to Leon C in Essex. And from there, we saw him walking to meet Sir David Amos at Belfair's Methodist Church. Prosecutors say he was a radicalised Islamist terrorist. And around the time of the attack, he sent a WhatsApp message to family and friends. In it, he said, this attack was for the sake of Allah. I apologise to my family for deceiving them for so long. The obligations upon me to take revenge for the blood of Muslims were too great. Well, Sir David Amos was stabbed 21 times in his constituency surgery in an attack which united MPs across the political divide. Ali Harbi Ali was arrested soon after. He denies murder and preparing acts of terrorism the trial will continue tomorrow.